Hello, my name is Paromatic, and in this tutorial we are going to take an in-depth look into the privacy features offered by Facebook. To begin, hover over the settings button and click on account settings. Note that clicking on settings has the same effect as clicking on account settings. The initial settings page that appears allows you to do some very important things. For example, this is the page where you can change your name and password. It is also the page where you would deactivate your account should you choose to do so. I will click on the Networks tab next. From here, I can change the region, leave the network, or join another network. Next, I will click on the Notifications tab. Here, you can specify which events will trigger an email notification. Let's move on to the Mobile tab. This page allows you to associate a mobile number with your Facebook account. We are going to skip over this section for now. The last tab in the Account Settings section is the Language tab. I'm going to click on this tab now. This page allows you to set the primary language of your Facebook account. If you'd like to experiment, you can change the primary language to English Pirate, but that's only fun for about five minutes. Next, let's explore some of the privacy settings Facebook has to offer. To get started, hover over the Settings button and click on Privacy Settings. The first section we are going to explore are the Profile Privacy Settings. To do so, I'm going to click on the Profile link. Notice that the Privacy Settings of Candace's profile and related information are set to My Networks and Friends. They used to be set to friends only, however, remember how in the last tutorial Candace joined the Phoenix, Arizona network? Well, when she did, Facebook automatically changed her privacy settings to My Networks and Friends. It is recommended you set the visibility of your profile and related settings to friends only. If you have any questions about a particular field, simply click the question mark icon next to it. I'm going to change all of Candace's settings back to friends only. It'll take just one second. To make the changes stick, I'll click on the Save Changes button. Notice the label at the top indicating our changes have successfully been saved. Next, I'm going to click on the Contact Information tab to see what its privacy settings are set to. There's only one piece of information that isn't set to Friends Only. I'll go ahead and change the visibility of Candace's website information to Friends Only. To make the changes stick, I'll click the Save Changes button. Notice the label at the top indicating the changes have successfully been saved. We'll come back to the Privacy Settings section in just a little bit. Next, let's explore Application Settings. To do so, hover over Settings and click on Application Settings. To remove an application, click on the X icon. To learn more about an installed application, click the About link. A page appears where you can read about the installed application and see fans of the application. 
If you really like an application, you can become a fan by clicking on the Become a Fan link. A link to this fan page will then appear on the information page of your profile. I'm going to click the back button on the browser to navigate back to the previous page. To edit the settings of a particular application, click the Edit Settings link for that application. A dialog window pops up. The Wall tab is currently selected. From here, we can edit how a particular application interacts with our wall. The next tab over is the Bookmarks tab. When an application is bookmarked, it appears in the Facebook taskbar at the bottom left hand corner of the browser. To view all of the Facebook applications you have installed, click on the Applications button. Click on it again to close the applications list. The last tab is the Additional Permissions tab. From here, you can specify which actions from this application will cause an email to be sent to you. Click OK to close the dialog box. When Candace joined the Phoenix, Arizona network in the previous tutorial, some of the privacy settings for her applications changed to My Networks and Friends. I'm going to double check all her installed applications and change them back to Friends Only. This will take just a few moments. Alright, all done. I'm going to navigate back to Candace's profile by clicking on the Profile button.